Hey everybody and welcome to part 7 of Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. I'm Nostalgia Scott and today we'll be going to Zephyr. The level that's name literally means a gentle breeze for those who don't know what Zephyr means. We have 2500 gems. Pretty good. Oh, they made the worm eat a bomb. So yeah, it's worms versus birds. Okay, Spyro. Looks like we got us a bit of a situation here. The breeze builders have got us pinned down, and we've been waiting for a volunteer to blow up their munitions building. Looks like you're it. Okay. Breeze builders. and You're so fat that I couldn't charge the way I wanted to. Stop feeding these little birds bombs. That's child abuse. Oh, great. Jesus. I totally just got smoked there by a bird. Damn birdie. Birdie lurdy. Birdie lurdy likes to take a turdy. Hey, you can destroy the basket for me, a little peon. So many enemies. Where you've already killed five, plus there's like, what, four in the air? How many are there here? 30 enemies. Yep, there's definitely a lot of enemies. Now, can't quite remember, but... There's a way to get these enemies to come in. Well, that works at killing them. Not really the way I wanted to, because there is supposed to be a way to get them, but... Eh. Woo! Perfect. Shit, well, we found the way where they come down. Without, like, even war without warning. It's just like, hey, peekaboo, we're here, bitch. And the other bird die? I think the other bird just died. Yeah, you don't get any bombs. Go, uh, and trust me, they can still hurt you. They bitch slap you. Um, can't deal, can't do anything with that quite yet. Not until we get this cannon from this worm guy. Cannon just ain't working for me. You think you can blast that bird, soldier? Jump up here and give it a try. Uh, sure. So it just flies right back to where you know we need it. Well, he had it up too high. That's for sure. Well, that's easy enough. Okay, a little more. And open. Now I just need to destroy that uh, gem vase up there. Gem crystal? I don't know what you call it. And then into this door. Up a little too high. Perfect. Let's go collect ourselves some money. Some good old fashioned. Ooh, a 25. That's a big one. A nice juicy big one. Now I believe there is a gem that falls down here. Which is a little bit of a nuisance since you have to backtrack down there, but... Whatever, to get 100%, we do what we must. And there's nothing in this game that's overly difficult. Oh hey, look! It's guys that resemble guys from the very first Spiral the Dragon game. The Norks that used to roll TNT at you. A oh, bird down here without its hawk friends. Well, too bad you had to die, and we've killed half the enemies. Well, half is better than none, right? Man, you're dead. Um, what's going on here? Looks like we need to use this cannon again. Okay, so let's blow up that red balloon. 99 loof balloons. Oh. Thought that would have worked, but it didn't. Yeah, now let's go down first. Ooh, there's a 10 that must have popped from the balloon. Now, there are going to be these little animals around here called cowlicks. To get two of the four orbs here, you must get them into this pen. And also, if you didn't have the ability to climb here, you can get 100%. So it's kind of like the, um, that Tiki level, Tiki... Uh, or no, no, Idle Springs, not Tiki, Idle Springs. That level you couldn't get 100% unless you had the ability to swim, so that's why... I told us to, or told you guys to go to Colossus instead of Idle Springs first. Even though Idle Springs is the much more fun level. And yeah, see, we need to kill a certain amount of enemies to activate that super fire portal. That way we could then get these guys up. I'm not trying to actually get you guys. I'm just trying to collect all the goodies. 
because there are gems around here. I believe, yeah. See, there's that guy right there. Yeah, there's a 25 up there. Not bad. And then there is a uh, one of those mystery vases. Like I said, these things are going to show up a lot. Especially in this home world. Don't know why there's so many, but they're just darn. What the hell was that, Spyro? Why did you just, like, plummet to the ground? Oh, man. So I have a request to do, um... Sly Cooper and, like, the Phoebus Raccoonus. I absolutely love that game. But, um... This uh, subscriber actually wants me to do all four in one year. Like, you take a game every three months. So we'll definitely finish it before a three-month period, but... Um... Yeah, I certainly can do that. And I will wait till it's at a three month period to do the next one because I don't want to just start the next one right after. So I'll have to time projects in between to see if um, you know, we can get some good ones in there in that time frame too. Like we got game short games like Poco Nien or Kirby or things like that that literally only take one episode to, to complete. So we'll have like a bunch of those little games in there too. We'll, we'll have a ton of different games. Like, this channel is going to specialize in just awesomeness. And to specialize in awesomeness, we need to record all kinds of games. Mm, hey there, Cowlick. I believe the first challenge of this is five, and then, well, obviously, and then the second one is seven. So it's not that bad. Get in there, Cowlick. Yeah, that's Bo Peep, which is clearly a dude, yet... Yeah, I don't know, these worm people are the worm people are weird. No, I, I don't really remember what the worm people are called. I know the birds are called uh, breeze builders, and they also make an appearance in the Breeze Harbor. In Breeze Harbor. That's actually their homeland. What light from yonder window breaks? That window up there, dummy. The professor said he was working on a way to help me get back with Juliet, but I haven't seen him in a long time. Well, let's find the professor. We have to get up there to Juliet the Bird. It's a forbidden romance. I think that's what the uh, title of this uh, video is going to be. Forbidden romance. Oh man, I missed you. How the hell could I miss you? Also, the other two Calyx are down here. Well, there's one. I don't know if I can make this. Shit, no I couldn't. So anyways, let's get these Calyx closer to our designation. Designation? It's not the word. Destination, not designation. Wrong word, man. It's necessarily just good. Why you, uh, why you has to be so dumb? I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm apologizing right now. So I think we're gonna skip a day of Yoshi and then just do an extra video of God of War and Spyro. Or maybe, like, just, like, a marathon of a game. That way, you know, we can get some series done and out of the way. Because some series on this channel are loved more than others, but... I don't know why. Like, you guys seem to like all the game choices, so then it's like, well, why don't you like this game? Now, see, this this level's gonna take a long time. Not because it's difficult, because of the challenges and the length of level. Like, we were already done Crystal Glacier at this point. Like, that and Skeelo's Badlands, I believe, are only a 20-minute video, maybe 19 minutes, 21 tops. So, it was surprisingly short. Like, I always thought Skeelo's Badlands was a lot longer than it was, but apparently it's really short. There we go. Perfect. Now we just have to do the actual two orbs here. There are two orbs here, and there's two for the Cowlick, so... Honestly, there's... The orbs are really close together is what I'm trying to get at. So I do like the soundtrack for this level. It's very epic, you know, it's like a battlefield type soundtrack. Spyro, my boy, I've got a magic bean, uh, I mean seed, for you in here somewhere. Uh, here it is. Why don't you plant it in the ground and see what grows? And then he just tells you how to aim. It's like we already know how to aim. We learned that literally in the first level. Now, there's a seed up there that we want to get. But, we also want to get the seed that's down here. And to get the plant out of the dirt, all you have to do is flame the plant. So, grab that. Are you serious? 
Spyro, you're supposed to put the seed in your mouth, and they kind of look like little pumpkins. Ah, one of my all-time favorite Spyro levels, though, is actually in the Game Boy Advance games in Season of... I believe it's Season of Flame. Like, Spyro 2 Season of Flame for the Nintendo Game Boy Advance. Because it actually featured one of the only Halloween levels ever in a Spyro game, or the only Halloween level. It was... While it may not be the best game, the best graphics, or the best gameplay, it is still a nice level. It has a good soundtrack, too. And a cool concept. Like, I, I really enjoyed it, but for some reason the emulator of it likes to freeze. Like, it freezes on Minty Mines, I think, or Alpine Abode. One of the two. And then it loses, um... Uh... And then you lose... Like, your file, your data. Sorry, I was getting distracted by eating a seed. I don't believe we need any of these seeds again, so we just throw this one down. And voila! Not Viola. I hate people who say Viola. It's like, it's... or... Voila. It's, it's, it's voila. It's not English, people. But... Ooh, that created a big vine. Or big plant. I don't even know what these are. Now, are these manly birds? They're wearing pants for some reason. I guess not everything in this world likes to wear pants. Now, we have this seed. How many platforms does this one get? Oh, it's just one big platform. Okay. Fine by me. I don't know, this challenge is uh, rated way too high in star count for its difficulty. Well done, my boy! Here are two more seeds to get you the rest of the way. <sighs> ah. We already know what he's going to say. Now give us our two seeds. Thank you. Now what we need is we need to put bring one over here. So we'll just go up here. And plop our seed down. Now let's go around and grab, it and grab our other seed. Is there any, uh... There's no gems around here, is there? Oh, I don't think there's any gems in this area anymore at all, because... Sparks is now on, like, yo, gems way over there. So I don't think there are any gems in here. Yep. And there we go. Wow, the, the ground completely changed. Wow, and here's where Juliet is. Ah, uh, I wonder if she has a beautiful voice. Romeo! Ah, what is Romeo. that? Wherefore art thou, Romeo? Oh, there's Romeo. You can have this. I don't need it anymore. God, that voice is just terrible. It's like nails to a chalkboard. Well, there she goes. She, she couldn't go down there herself. See, both of them, both of the uh, orbs in this, like the secondary orb to the challenges, are weird because it's like. Oh, well, you only have to get two extra calyx. Oh, and you only have to literally plant two extra seeds. So it's like, seriously, game? You could at least made the challenge a Are you kidding me, you stupid cowlick? Could have made the challenge a little more difficult. I don't even think there's a short level we can do in this episode. I really don't think there is. Because we've already gotten so much done. Well, we've only gotten this much done, but you know what I mean. Like, we've gotten a lot done for this level. And, oh, great. Three Calyx down. Can you stop? I'm not even... What the hell? Dumb Calyx. Poop. Now I need to get these other two up. And how many are there down here? Can they actually even go in the Whirlwind area? I don't think they can. I always fear getting them stuck there, and it's like, oh man. Okay. Now just to get them all back into their stupid pen, so they can step in their own shit. I, mean, I don't even know what the frick these things are supposed to be. Anteater cows? I think that's actually what they are, anteater cows. Don't know what a hybrid of those two animals would do. Have a cow that eats ants instead of grass, maybe? I don't know. What would the milk taste like? Ew. I don't even want to think about it. Hey, hey you. There we go. Thanks, Spyro. Here's a little something. You know, for the effort. Well, thank you. But you're not nice sound. Two more Calyx. Difficulty three. Mm. 
It's more like difficulty annoying. Not not hard, but just annoying. Alright, come on, Calyx. Man, I remember getting Calyx when I was in school, you know? Your hair used to stand up on end just because you slept on it wrong, or after you wash your hair, it dries funny, so then, you know, you have, like, the whole... That was weird. With, like, the whole little piece of your hair that sticks up and just won't go down, you know, you tr try and wet it and stays up, or you try and lick your finger and do it, and your mom and dad would lick their fingers and do it. Yeah. <laughs> I remember those days. Kind of miss being a kid. That's when I used to play all these games. Now I play them for a living. Well, I am impressed. You got all seven cowlicks for me. Here's a fair reward. You mean the last orb? Thank you. Now, um, let's go do that mystery vase and then continue on with the level. This level is one of those ones that you cannot do two levels in the same video at all. Well, you could, but you're getting more of like a 30, 40 minute video, depending on what level you choose. Man, all this backtracking. So nasty. Hey, Vaz. I thought I could make it up there. I couldn't. I didn't gain enough momentum. I think now it's at the beginning. Yep. I don't know, it's a cool concept and all, but it's just annoying to always have to go back to the beginning level. And there's a random rainbow. Give me. That's a lot of money. Thank you. Came in with what, 2,500? Yeah, 2,500. I believe we only need a few more gems. Boom. Those caterpillars literally break apart. It's ridiculous. Since when do caterpillars break apart? Apparently now. Hey, bird brain. I believe... Yeah, I believe we'll be at 2,900. At least I think that's what we started off with. It was 2,500. Because I remember saying in the beginning of the video, like, how much we started off with. Though I honestly don't remember how much that was. I know for a fact that there's a TNT roller here. Yep. Shoot, I missed. It could have cost me my life. Wait, did you seriously not grab that? And also flame them like you could in the original game. I will eventually play that on my channel. Just remember, I did actually have another channel that played it before, so... That's why I wasn't quick to jump into it right away. Man, can you actually hit the damn gems? There we go. And now, all we have to do is hit that doorway over there. And there we go. Oh, shit, that's a lot of TNT. Okay. Ooh. Ah, my computer was trying to fall asleep again. Always does. While I'm recording, my girlfriend's actually playing World of Warcraft. She finally got Legion, which is cool. That expansion is really good. It adds a lot to the game. Hey, come on, let me get the last enemy in the game. So I guess that one bird that I thought got away did actually die. And there we go, 400 gems. Wow, what an explosion! It sure is a good thing I had my helmet on. Oh yeah, uh, the colonel wanted me to give this talisman to you if you got through the breeze builder defenses. Good job, soldier. Oh, and here's one of the other top three talismans in the entire game. The Zephyr Talisman, the Ruby Bomb. Doo -doo -doo. Let's leave. Aw, oh, poor bird, he got bloated up. Well, I guess the rivalry, rivalry would make sense. Worms are getting tired of birds eating them and such, so... Yeah. Would get kind of annoying. You know, it's, it's like things eating humans. We'd eventually learn to kill it off like we have. So anyways, in the next episode, we will going be going to Breeze Harbor, clearly spelt the American way. I'm Canadian, so we spell it like the way the Brits do, with a U right there. 
But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time for some more Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. Peace out!